So this is going to be the first projector that I'm going to feature on my channel. This is the Hau Wi-Fi projector and the model number is JQ901C. Now the reason I believe this is called Wi-Fi projector is that you can cast whatever is actually shown on your mobile phone uh, through the projector just like the Chromecast that is available and that I believe that's a very useful um, function and I, I wasn't aware that you could actually do that through the projector but that, then again you learn all these new technology every day. Now when it comes to the reputation of how I'm not an expert but I actually looked it up and how is very well known um, even some website actually ranked number one uh, for how to be the most recommended um, projector to buy and this one is actually available on Amazon as well and when it comes to the size I believe this is very portable it's not like gigantic as those conventional projectors that we know and it's not quite as small as those ultra slim but a slim projector that is available in the market but I'm not really convinced by those projectors not that I actually own any of them but anyhow regards to the spec I'll put it down on the video description below enough said let's get into the unboxing and I'm really excited about it whoa what's this it's a um, simple projection screen, 100 inch, wow. I see, you can see all these joints, so you can actually mount it on the wall. That's really good, thank you very much. And this is the um, user manual, so that's very good. So I'll just very quickly flick through that so you can actually check it out for yourself. Pause and please have a look. Remote control, okay? So let's see what sort of things are available. So. Okay, you can actually adjust the volume, zoom, okay. It's like a TV remote control, isn't it? Um, that's good. And then we got the cable. I'm kind of familiar with this. As long as you follow the color code, you'll be fine. This is the HDMI cable as well. So it actually comes with really good um, package. That's very, very good. And obviously the power cord. It's a really compact size, I have to say, compared to the projector that I know. Okay, we all know this one actually. This is the focus and the um, keystone. So this is how you adjust. There's the lid for you. And that's how the lens looks like. Um, I believe that's for the remote control receiver on both ends. Okay, and I believe this is where you actually change the lamp, isn't it? So we got the USB to HDMI and um, one for earphone jack and AV and a micro SD as well. That's really cool. I mean, despite the size, you get all these features. Okay, so that's where you put the power and the ventilation and pretty much all these standard um, buttons as well here. So now on the bottom is just the bottom, but we got the how and and so on. So that's pretty cool. Um, I believe you can actually take this out, can't you, for the height adjustment? Yeah, we all know about this for the projector. Right, so we got the projector running. Apologies for the distorted on the right hand side is because the wall, as you can see, is angled. That's why it's showing like this. So if we focus on the whole thing, there's the um, micro SD card. It's detecting that there's no uh, card inserted, but if you do, that's when you can actually watch movie, listen to music, and watch uh, some of your photos as well. That's very clever, actually. Um, but before we get into that, if you actually focus on this whole thing, uh, that's the focus and that's the keystone. In other words, keystone is where you can adjust the shape of the screen, and this is now being readjusted. So going back to the whole thing, we got the surprise function and then the um, help, which I presume is where you can actually look for the device on help. So let's actually choose some of these things, shall we? So um, let's go to the settings. Um, so we could choose the picture, sound, and option, and time uh, functions, actually. So back to the main screen, last one that I want to point out is the mirror cast. So we're in the mirror cast page, and I have to say, the quality of the projection is really good. But anyhow, we need to first set up the Wi-Fi connection. So to be able to do that, you need to press this three line button here. Um, not a short period of time, but for a few seconds. So if you press it for a few seconds, um, this is gonna what you're going to get, okay? So uh, the language is English, but you got to scroll down to Wi-Fi setting. 
and then it searched for the Wi-Fi connection. So on your smartphone um, settings for your Samsung for Z43 in my case, you click on the smart view, okay? And then if you click on it, you'll see the dual cost DDD0 on that one. If you press that and if you press start now, then in few seconds, you'll be able to see um, what's actually mirrored on my mobile phone. So there you go. So this is quite an interesting thing though I want to highlight. So this is the full screen. If I rotate it like that, the screen will get larger on the projection screen as well. If I were to fold to that, then it's actually a lock screen. But if I were to turn it on, that's the actual really narrow screen. But if I were to rotate it, portrait, then that's what you're going to get as well. So that's really clever, isn't it? So that, that's something you want to enjoy with your Z Fold 3. I think some people might find this bit of a nuisance actually, but um, yeah, so the screen actually follows the, the um, proportion of the way how you watch your Z Fold 3. So here it goes. This is my YouTube channel, as you can see. And I didn't realize, obviously this is my naivety, but this has a speaker and it's a really good loud quality. So I'm going to play the sound for you. Uh, the video well. clip is and on. Has a very good history of, um, okay. And I can hear that the sound is actually coming from here. Even the and to be honest with you, let's actually pause that. Yeah, so you could go to the audio output as you can see from the projection screen and then you could change it to the phone settings in case that's a bit of a nuisance so i'm actually gonna use that from now on now as you can see this is on a full screen and the way how you do this is um i don't think you can actually see it from the projection screen but on your mobile phone you'll get this tiny menu here and you need to click on these three dots and you go to settings and then you'll see from here there's a thing called phone aspect ratio if you click on that you can actually go for full screen on connected device or full screen on phone. So if you go to full screen on phone, this is the same ratio as your mobile phone, which is same cases for me is my Z Fold 3. But if I go to this, this will stretch the image um, and so on. In regards to the volume, I actually find it a bit nuisance. But um, if you actually go to scroll down from the top and the bottom and then media output, this is where you need, you can actually adjust the volume on your uh, phone. Now, this is the 4K video clip that I found on YouTube called Ibiza. And um, for the copyright reason, I can't really play the sound. I hope you understand. But just looking at the quality of it, it's really good. I have to say it's really impressive indeed. I hope I don't get copyright strike for featuring this uh, video, but um, if, if we do, then I'll come back to other stuff. I mean, I could also play my video as another sample as well. Right, so this is another example, actually from my video that I reviewed uh, regards to nearby from Inak Fire, but just focusing on the quality itself, it's really good. Um, yeah, I mean, it almost feels like I have a, like a rather good quality TV attached to my wall. That's really impressive. Obviously, if you're not happy with the quality, you could adjust uh, by going to the settings and, and so on um, with the picture quality mode of, you know, like user or soft standard. And then you can also change the color temperature as well, um, aspect ratio as well, um, which I think it should really be automatic actually, um, not 16.9, 4.3, but auto because that's the best fit for my um, casting and noise reduction as well and, and so on. So those are the things you can play with. Yeah, the projector technology has come a long way, hasn't it? So there's a SD memory card slot that you could put in that you could have up to several travel tri bytes of, of movie clips that you could play or music or photos and etc. Um, you got the HDMI cable that you could directly connect it to your computer or wirelessly connect it to your computer as well. And the biggest feature that I have to say is you could wirelessly connect it to your smartphone or you could actually use your USB cable to use your smartphone to cast whatever is shown on your screen. Now this also comes along with the speaker which is really loud now i i didn't show you that much because i i was a bit conscious about my neighbors but um it, i would say it's loud enough 
uh, for the several crowds to hear it so you won't have any problem with that now um, regards to the weight itself is really light uh, compared to what you can see how chunky it is on on the thickness but it is actually much slimmer than the conventional projector that i have um, known and seen so far and it has so many different functions as well and the biggest thing i have to say is the casting uh, function that i just been highlighting early on now normally if you want to watch something on your tv i think most of the tv nowadays they have the chromecast built in but you would normally need a chromecast as a separate device but this actually has a speaker and the casting function within it as long as you got the wi-fi connection as well and the quality is really good as well and um, it's, it just makes so much sense why uh, the the technology has come this way so i hope you actually enjoy the uh the Howard projector that i actually shown here today and please do check it on the amazon uh, link and then check out their products as well it's really really good and no wonder why they have a really good review and one of the top of the charts when it comes to the popularity of projector so i hope you really enjoyed this video but if you have any queries please do comment below and i'll be more than happy to come back to you thank you very much for watching this video this is lgb tech all the best bye bye